I'm doing some alterations today on a, a little pile of men's polo shirts. Uh, these are for a client who oh, is basically one of the other tenants in this building. So doing a favour for him. Uh, I don't really do alterations very often these days, even though that's what I trained on originally. Um, and uh, he basically just wants these to be shortened um, as they're a bit too long for him. So I need to pick out some threads to go with this. Um, client's basically told me that he wants 10 centimeters short, uh, shortened of these. And he's not that fussy about keeping features. For instance, you can see here, most of these shirts have this um, side split on it, which is reinforced. Um, he's fine, he doesn't need to keep that, so he's happy to have a, just a straight hemline on the shortened shirt. He's also said to me, because I pointed out I might not have the colour, um, the matching threads in stock because <laughs> obviously I do a lot of golf clothing so I have a lot of black not a lot of anything else um, and he was like oh, doesn't matter I don't care what colour threads you use <laughs> it's not fussy and I was like mm, you know <laughs> there are standards that even I won't go below <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna make sure I get threads that are as close as possible to the original colours of these. So this is my stash of uh, threads that I have other than black and white. <laughs> um, as you can see, well, there's a fair few but not really a huge variety. Um, taking a look at the four different shirts that need to be shortened, out of all that, this is the only one that really matches. Um, which does cause some problems as well with regards to finish, which I'll explain as we go along. So as this is the only matching thread that I have in stock, this shirt is going to be the one that I start on today. Now before you cut, you want to make sure that this shirt is completely flat, accurately flat, because you don't want to cut and end up with a back shorter than your front. So you want to make sure that the shoulder seams are here and everything is flat, no ruckling. So you've got your shoulder seam yes shoulder seams <laughs> here. So completely and utterly flat. You can see in the original design that the back is slightly longer than the front just to add a little extra coverage around the bum, which is why it's been designed like that. Now we're not keeping that feature for this alteration as the client hasn't asked for it. Um, so we are going to measure up You can see on this that the uh, head along here is a bit bowed. I mean, this top's been worn and washed, so that's not unusual. So we're going to measure up 10 centimeters. Now I'm just looking at the Turn up as a hem here and taking a ruler, it is two and a half centimeters. So, you want to keep that sort of uh, hemline on the altered shirt. So, you want to measure two and a half centimeters. 
down from your original mark point there you've got your hem allowance now so now it's time to cut with your trusty rotary cutter And there we go, one shortened shirt. So we're back in front of the sewing machine and looking at the newly cut hemline, I can see that there's a label here that needs to be removed before it is turned up, otherwise it's gonna get in the way. So, <laughs> everyone swears by seam rippers, I swear by nail scissors. and I can't see what I'm doing close up. This is a bit where I swear by nail scissors and then I completely balls it up. I mean, it's <laughs> It is bound to happen when you're in front of a camera. <laughs> you just can't win. Uh. Oh, come on. Okay. There we go, finally did it right. Right, next up is want to overlock the raw edge of this new hem. Now if you're doing a proper job with this, you would use thread that was the same colour. But this is a fairly dark top, so the black isn't really going to be that much of a contrast and it's going to be on the inside of the shirt anyway so it doesn't really matter that much As you'll remember, we've got a two and a half centimetre turn up on this hand, so let's get the pins out and start pinning. Now the hem on this shirt has been pinned into place. The original hem on this was uh, cover stitched because it's a stretch material. So the cover stitch allows the fabric to stretch if necessary. Um, so if I was going to be doing this, normally I would also cover stitch this. Um, but we have two problems. One is I only have one roll of this. 
and the cover stitch machine requires four. I could cover stitch it with my existing black thread, uh, it wouldn't be a problem and it's not going to be very obvious. I mean you can see, if I bring it up to the camera, that the black on the inside that has been um, overlocked is not very obvious. Um, so it wouldn't be something that would really be noticed unless you're really looking at it closely. Uh, the other thing though is if you're watching this and you want to do your own alterations at home, the likelihood is that you are not going to have a cover stitch. So in this case we are going to stitch it a straight stitch which is this machine. And you can do that on your own basic home machine as well. It's no different to be quite honest. This is just a more powerful machine, that's the only difference. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we are going to change over the thread to the blue. Now in this case I am cheating and we are only going to change the top thread to the blue i.e. the thread that will be visible on the outside of the shirt. The bottom thread will still stay black. So our hem is pinned and we've changed the thread so we're ready to sew. Now we know that the turn up of the hem is 2.5 centimetres. So what we're going to do is using the guide on the guide plate here if we have it at the two centimetre mark then it will be in the correct place to catch the underside of the overlocking right, I finished sewing and as you can see, if I bring this up to the camera, I've got the blue stitching on top. And on the underneath, we have the black stitching with black overlock stitching as well. So it matches on both sides. Now as I have stretched this while sewing, it's a little bit ruckled. So we're going to fire up the iron and we're going to iron this so it's nice and flat and straight. There you have it, the final finished shirt. Nicely pressed, shortened to specification and ready to go back to its owner.